Hi, I'm Michelle Old. I am 20, no, I'm not 29 years old. I'm freaking 30 years old, okay? I'm old as dirt. I live, um, for the most part, in Marietta, California. Um, I train out of Team Quest MMA, um, Dan Henderson's gym, and, uh, yeah, that is as a professional fighter doing MMA. And, um, that's not really all I do, though. That's, like, a really small part of my life. And uh, I'm doing an interview really quick with Tanya Evinger. Yeah, there she is. She's my interviewer. And, um, <laughs> yeah, right. so she has a list of questions for me. And, um, yeah, we're a little tipsy tonight. Here yeah. we go. Here we I go. just fought on Friday and, uh, you know, got an easy, quick win, so to speak. A couple of people are up in arms about it. You know, haters gonna hate, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do this interview real quick. And, uh, Nan, I hope you like it. All right. First question. <laughs> During MMA, <laughs> has a guy ever gotten boner training with you? Ew. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that they did for a long time. I remember one of my very first training partners, and I'm not going to say him any names, but if he ever sees this interview... Um, <clears throat> Brock. Uh, he actually admitted it to me like a uh, year and a half, and he used to beat the shit out of me. And uh, come to find out, underneath his cup, he had a boner like probably more than 50% of the time. Yeah, it's gross, but uh, welcome to the reality of women's MMA. Girls think, oh, they want to, they need to treat me with respect and this, that, and the other. All right, maybe if you're ugly, but I'm sorry. That, that, that's just the truth. And he was like one of my best friends, so. On to the next question. On to the next question. <laughs> you trained at Dan Henderson's, right? Um, when I'm there, yes. <laughs> I've been out of town for a while, but yes, Just I a love question. Dan Henderson's gym. Uh, have you ever seen Dan without his teeth? <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> what kind of question is that? I just want to know, because I have, and it surprised me. <laughs> yes, Dan. I have. Why are you trying to get me in trouble with Dan? What the hell? That's why I asked if anybody see this. <laughs> Hopefully Dan won't see it. But yes, I've seen Dan without his teeth, and you know what? He's still a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's messed up, dude. Watch me lose my teeth now. Michelle? I'm going to lose my fucking teeth now because that's just how it is. It's called karma. As soon as you see somebody that has a herpy in, on their face, you Change. make fun of them, you're going to get a herpy. Change directions. Tell us about your first kiss. I don't remember it. I think Ironic. I started kissing when I was really young, so I was too young to remember. I was probably like four or five. I think I kind of remember that. <laughs> We were getting babysat, you know, we played the kissing game. Come on, everybody does it. I heard this story when you first started fighting, and you had this boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> Something oh, happened. You want to tell us about this boxing match? What happened during this boxing match? Why did you lose? I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Literally shit my pants. I was sick. And it was, like, the day after weigh-ins, I remember I was at the mall getting something. It was, like, probably the, the top I was going to wear for that fight. <laughs> and it was the first fight I've ever had that's any sort of sanction anything. I've never even really sparred before. And I got suckered into this fight. And I was dry heaving in the mall, and it was after weigh-ins and everything. And uh, my kids had had the flu <laughs> the week before, and I knew it was bad. My ex-boyfriend told me, it's just nerves. I was like, no, I feel, like, hot and flush and, like coming out both ends type thing and it did during the middle of the match I was beating this girl up and then all of a sudden I literally had to leave and I told my corner I was like just tell him I'm on my period I can't I can't and I was like I can smell it it was horrible and then the news the <laughs> news people freaking saw me like a week later or something they're like you were doing so awesome but we knew that there were technical difficulties we could read your lips they knew they could see me telling my corner Caesar Sclavos who I absolutely adore he was my very first jiu-jitsu boxing coach everything super cool guy I named my dog after him by the way and uh <laughs> he's like yeah we knew that you were saying I was shitting my pants <laughs> so that was like just the beginning of the long list of tragedies that have happened in my fighting career. On the same subject. Of shitting my pants. Have you ever farted or been farted on during practice? I know you're checking. 
Jackie Vandenberg. Yes, we do competitive party matches. <laughs> what is this? Man, if you guys ever went to Team Quest MMA, the women's matches consist of a lot of uh, triangle holds with uh, right before you pass out, you're getting farted in your face. That's just how it is. So, you know, be, be careful of us girls that uh, from Team Quest. <laughs> All right, we're going change. We're gonna change directions here. We're going to do a little word association. Uh, Let's do something that doesn't have to do with shit or farts. No, this is about fighters. little word association. Okay. Uh, first dun, word... Dun, dun. Word association time. First word that comes to mind when you hear the names of these fighters. Oh, God. Dan Henderson. Oh, <laughs> God. Now I'm thinking walrus. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dan. I'm sorry. You're Misha Tate. Taint. Taint. Okay. You know that spot between your asshole and your vagina? <laughs> or your balls? What else? Hermes Franca. Rapist. <laughs> Rapo. Zola Frosto. Long ass nipples. I heard she has like three inch long nipples. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to my mind. <laughs> All right. Last, last and the best and most important question. Um, if you were the last person on earth with two other people, which one would you rather sleep with? Kimbo Slice. Ew. Or Lana Stefanok. That's messed up. Which one? I would hang myself from a palm tree. You have to choose one. You Kim, better s- Kimbo s- slice. Yes. <laughs> Kimbo, I guess we're gonna have some babies. Why is that? Because of probably gonna be born with a full grown beard. <laughs> Sing that song. And some brass knuckles. <laughs> Them are nice sideburns for a girl. You look good for you. Did you see oh. that song? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you ain't hot, but you look good for you today. <laughs> That's what I say when I see people with uh, ugly kids. You can't tell anybody that they have an ugly baby. You just say, he looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, so that has absolutely nothing to do with MMA. And uh, whatevs. It's all good. <laughs> that was uh, Michelle Old being interviewed by Tanya Sideburns Evanger. Fire crotch. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, peace out, bitches. How do you turn this off? Go to... Stop. No, no, go in there and webcam. Shower, rinse, repeat. Stop. Looks like you're fingering the camera. I am. Wait. Oh, dude, I have bad aim. Stop. Oh, okay, right there.